Hello, I'm going to show you today how to replace a three-way switch with a switch sensor. That would be great. Okay, first and foremost, always come to your breaker, turn off the corresponding breaker. Turn it off first before doing anything. Okay, so I have a black wire that comes on this black screw, which is marked common. Okay. So I have now the red wire that comes on the screw. And then on the other side here, I have a black one also that connects to the other side. So I got this black, this black that comes down and the red that comes up. So on the both side here. And the one that comes on the black, that's the one that you have to tape got to tape the one that comes in the black screw this is a three-way wire i have a switch here and have a, a companion switch inside um, this one where it is either more common you want to tape this black wire and this black wire you're gonna mount to one of the black wire coming from the box what i do is that i have my sensor this way with the sensor in the bottom and then I will start by using the middle wire the black one that I will connect to the taped one that was on the side here that was here so this wire that was on here I will connect it on the black one on my sensor it either of the black wires so let me show you either the black wire whether this on the top or the one in the middle either one of them can be connected to the black wire that, that was taped okay either one of them but i just chose to connect the one in the middle just uh you know for myself so that throughout the house when i make changes i just know which one are connected but either one of them could have been connected to the one that was taped and then the blue wire that comes from the sensor I'm going to connect it on the red wire in my case and that red wire is the one that was on the top next to the black one but if I had a white wire coming out of my box on the top of the bare wire then I would have to remove the green sleeves and then I will have a white wire I will use that white wire to connect to the white wire coming from my box and my bare wire will be connected to the bare wire coming from the box. I repeat again, if I had a white wire on the top of the bare wire, the white wire which is the neutral, then I will remove these sleeves, that green sleeves, and put both together, the white, white, and then this bear to the bear here but in my case i don't have it so what i do i don't have any neutral which is a white one so in my case i need to leave this sleeve the green sleeve on it and then i take that green sleeve and then this bear wire on this one and i take both of them and i connect it to the one that comes from inside my box I connect all of them so that will be three wire so this is how it looks that's how you make the three-way now this is not finished you still need to make a modification on the companion switch so we're gonna go there so next thing I want to do I want to tag this wire Okay, that is connected to the common or the black screw. So this is important to tag it because tomorrow, if you need to make some change, then you know which one is the common wire, which is very important because you have two black wire and you may not know which one is which. So always important to tag it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect this wire, which is called the traveler, which is on the other side of the one that was tagged. Okay, so I'm gonna disconnect both, not the red one in my case here. I need to disconnect the one that is on the other side, which is called the traveler, and then the one here, which is put in the common or the black 
screw. So I will disconnect this one and this one on the other side here. In case some of you do have the same, you will see that they, they use the quick connect on the back, the plug in instead of uh, screwing around. So to disconnect this one, what you do, you use a small flathead screwdriver and you're gonna push that in. Okay, you push that as strong as you can and you twist to get that all the way in some of them just go straight some of them are more difficult like in my case here so in my case i push in and then I, I i twist and when i twist a little bit then it goes all the way in then i can disconnect the traveler wire easily you see now i was able to disconnect both of them so you push your screwdriver twist a little bit to get a uh, a hole you will see that inside you have a hole your screwdriver has to come in and push that thing aside so that uh, you can pull up your wire now i'm gonna connect with this jumper wire that came in the pack so that jumper wire you will associate this to the one that has the tape and then the one which is a traveler you will connect all of the three and then okay so to make sure that we understand this uh yellow wire sometimes comes black okay this one comes sometimes black or yellow now to connect you have all the three that you will bind together right but you don't put it on this side here that's the wrong side you don't put it there that's the wrong side when you connect all the three you do not put on this side of your switch that's the wrong one you rather put on that side the black one where you tape the black wire right here and then you put on that side so once all these together you simply grab your knot and then this way you put them together and then securely with your knot you just tie them down until you feel a resistance so that you know it's all well connected So I'm coming down to turn it on. So I'm gonna push it, it on. There you go. So we're gonna see how it works. Unlocked. There you go. We have light in here. Okay, if I use that push, there you go, the light is off. If I use the push again, there you go, the light is on. That is pretty much what they explain over here. You will see that after we have connected the wire, whether here you have a neutral or whether here you don't have a neutral, after you still need to modify the companion switch, as you can see over here. So you have the one here that is removed and only those two that remain connected with the, the one over here. So this is very important for it to be that modification for your switch to work normally so without the companion switch to cause an issue. Okay, now if you want to make some modifications on your settings, do it first before mounting the plate. Important first. Now we have power on, power in. So we're gonna now set up these things uh, and I will show you how. Okay, when you look at this paper, they say if you want to time out for one minute, you need to have your flasher, okay, come up twice. Five minutes, it has to come up three times, and so forth. So what it means is that when you push this one down until it flashes, one, two, you release it, your timeout will be for one minute. What it means is that when it has no sensor, when it doesn't sense anything, then one minute after he turns off. Now, uh, if you want it to be for, let's say, 30 minutes, you need to hold it until it flashes five times. Okay. One, two, three, four, 
five and you release you activated your timer to be every 30 minutes after there is no occupancy in the room so i want mine to be just one uh, one minute so i'm gonna do twice one two and i activated for one minute so now the next thing here it says if you want to have what they call sensor mode for auto on or auto off or if you want to have it manual on meaning that uh, you come in you have to push the, the trigger first for it to come on or uh, and then it goes off automatically or if you want to have it auto on on the daylight sensing so what you do is that this little button here that's actually that's a button what you see here is actually but there is a button behind it so when you push it you can feel is a button right here so what happens is that you push this one okay until you see the light flashing one time when it's one time is auto on auto off when it's twice it is manual pushing like this okay and then auto off so i'm gonna do it. I push it And now release. He already flashed once. And then I have it on auto on, auto off. If you want it otherwise, you follow either three time or two time. Now, the last one is the motion sensor. Okay, the sensitivity of the motion sensor. What is required here, you have to hold both, to hold down and maintain it. Both this one, the the big one okay and the little one so since i have one hand let me see how i can do that okay so i'm gonna put the back of my nail on this one here and hold here with my thumb so i hold both together that's low and sensitivity i i release it now if i want to reset everything I do it the same thing three times and it reset everything. That will be this and this together. That little button over here. Okay, and this together. To mount now the, the plate, the cover, the wall plate. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that because sometimes it can be a little tricky. So what you want to do is that the trick is that you want to pry off the top and the bottom, not the side, okay, not the side, else you will break it. So if you have something like, let's say, a credit card or something, you simply pry off from the top. In my case, I will simply use my fingers, okay, and then I put my fingers on the top over here. There you go. You prize off the top. Okay. And then same thing with the bottom. There you go. You prize off this way. Better to use a card. Okay. Type credit card in order to pry it out, specifically when it is on the wall. What you want to do is simply tuck it. Okay. And then simply screw down your plate okay so once you screw down your plate you simply put that in and push it there you go that's how is your wall plate again i'm gonna show you how now to pry off when it is on the wall I'm gonna even use this wall plate that was here prior, which is flat enough to pry off. So what you do, you put it on the top, okay? And then you kind of like it slowly, gently push it in. There you go, you pry off the top and same thing for the bottom. There you go. So you have it off. That's how you get it without breaking in uh, the hook. So I'm gonna put it back. Right in, 
There you go. So we all set. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.